Dr. Sharda Jain. I am the Secretary General of Delhi Gynecologist Forum and Director of Life Care IVF. Today I am going to talk on phosphomycin as a first line antimicrobial agent for a urinary tract infection. And I will dwell on this after reviewing it. As you all know that a urinary tract infection is the second most common infection present seen in the clinical practice. Every woman presents with UTI at least once in a lifetime. Worldwide, about 150 million people are diagnosed with UTI every year. And the women are more prone to UTI in comparison to the male counterpart. As for the symptoms of uncomplicated cystitis are concerned, we all know the burning and a painful urination, constant urge to urinate, which really bothers them, cloudy urine, foul smelling odor at times, and pelvic pain. Patients are, are again troubled uh, because of the acute cystitis as far as the lower pelvic pain is concerned. The causative organism, as you all know, that in good 70 to 95 percent of cases is, is E. coli infection. And only in 10 to 15 percent of cases, it is attributed to Staphylococcus saprophyticus, Klebsiella proteus, and Pseudomonas. As you can see, this particular slide, which sums up what is there in 2022, we all know that nitrofurantoin we use. It is a very effective drug, but uh, lately you find a growing resistance is being uh, noticed in a good about 10 to 15 percent of patients. Norflox, uh, uh, that is fluoroquinolones, uh, 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 especially the Norflox, uh, it is uh, now because of uh, left and right use and self medication by the patients and uh, patients advising another patients uh, on Norflox, you find it has become almost ineffective. And uh, that is why the clinicians are advised not to use it that frequently. Uh, as far as sporins are concerned, cefaxime is uh, again outdated as for the treatment for UTI is concerned. Uh, penicillin uh, group of drugs that is amoxiclave is again uh, has been there in the market for a long time. Again, it seems to get outdated. Uh, as far as uh, the Ciprofloxus is concerned, it is highly effective against uh, E. coli and it shows the least resistance. What is the dosage? The phosphomycin which is to be used is uh, in the form of a single day treatment, uh, uh, 3 gram uh, sachets are available, uh, which we advise them uh, to uh, dissolve in a, a glass of water and take it and not to pass urine for another three hours. So it is usually we advise them, you know, that uh, they should have an early dinner and then uh, pass urine before they uh, uh, want to retire to the uh, for sleep. Uh, they take uh, this particular drink and uh, it is uh, recommended that they should not pass urine for the next three hours. And uh, as far as uh, nitrofurantoins are concerned, we all know that we are using as 100 milligram uh, twice a day uh, for five days. Uh, and uh, um, as far as phosphomycin is concerned, I wish to tell you that, you know, uh, because of its efficacy, it is very effective in good 98% uh, uh, of patients. Uh, it has got the least resistance and uh, currently uh, this is the drug of choice. Not only it is uh, to be used in cases of uh, uncomplicated cystitis, uh, it is used in cases of resistant uh, UTI and in, uh, even in recurrent UTI. I will tell you the dosage in the end. Now, as far as this particular salt is concerned, this was discovered in 1969 in Spain and it is a phospho, uh, phosphonic uh, acid derivative. It is a broad spectrum bacterial antibiotic, covers both gram positive and gram negative uh, uropathogens and uh, it is uh, featured in the WHO list of essential drugs, uh, which has got uh, just good 90 to 95 drugs only. The mode of action is that it uh, prevents the uh, cell growth, 
uh, and uh, as well as uh, uh, it causes the uh, cellular death. Uh, it prevents the adherence of uh, uh, the bacteria to the uh, bladder wall and thereby it causes uh, uh, the death of the organisms that is E. coli. Phosphomycin inhibits the cell wall synthesis of bacteria. Uh, phosphomycin interferes with the first committed step in peptidoglycan biosynthesis. It inactivates enzyme UDP and acetyl glucosamine, which is called MURA. Phosphomycin also reduces adherence of the bacteria to the bladder wall. As far as pharmacokinetics are concerned, it is absorbed uh, rapidly uh, after the oral administration and is converted to free acid phosphomycin. Absolute oral viability is there under fasting condition is around uh, 40 percent and it is uh, not bound to plasma proteins distributed to kidneys, bladder, wall, prostate and seminal vesicle. And excretion, uh, it is unchanged in both urine and feces. It is half life is around uh, six hours and the urinary concentration uh, equal to or greater uh, than this thing is maintained for almost uh, 26 to 40 hours. As for the spectrum coverage is concerned, uh, in gram negative uropathogens, E. coli it is uh, very effective and the uh, Klebsiella proteus and Pseudomonas is also it is effective. As for the gram positive organisms are concerned, Enterococcus fecalis, Staphylococcus saprophyticus, which are the gram positive uh, pathogens are there which cause uh, UTI. So the salient features are it is highly susceptible to E. coli. Optimum urinary concentration allows once daily dosing, uh, lowest resistance rates compared to the other antimicrobials and establish efficacy and safety with single dose therapy and it has got uh, better patient compliance because of the single dose therapy. It has got highest efficacy uh, against the E. coli to the tune of almost 98 percent where the nitrofurantoin has an efficacy of uh, 92 percent. Uh, Co-tramaxazole uh, has efficacy of 85 to 87 percent while ciprofloxacin has an efficacy of uh, 85 percent. As for the resistance is concerned, phosphomycin is the least resistant uh, to the tune of only 1 percent while the ciprofloxacin has got resistance in nearly 62 percent of cases and nitrofurantoin has a resistance in 16 percent of cases. Why phosphomycin shows least resistance? This is a big question. It has got a unique antibiotic that is chemically unrelated to any other antibiotic. No cross resistance with other antibiotics because of its unique structure and mechanism. Ability to penetrate into biofilms not only eradicates clinically significant bacteria but also modify biofilm structure. Low rates of drug resist interaction with other agents is also found. Now, as for the international recommendations are concerned, you find uh, the uh, many bodies recommend phosphomycin as the first line antimicrobial in acute uncomplicated cystitis. The frontier in microbiology says it is the forgotten antibiotic for MDR gram negative bacteria. That multiple drug resistance, this is uh, antibiotic which can be used. Uh, Canadian Journal of Infection Diseases on uh, Medical Microbiology says this is the first line oral therapy for acute uncomplicated cystitis. While uh, the study uh, shows that phosphomycin as a first line oral therapy for acute uncomplicated cystitis, the journal where it has been published is Canadian Journal of Infection infectious diseases and men medical microbiology and it says that uh, phosphomycin uh, is uh, in vitro activity against uh, uropathogens has been there including in multiple drug, drug resistant isolates and this is uh, uh, Canadian, US and European guidelines authorities are recommending phosphomycin as the first line agent for treatment uh, in uncomplicated cystitis. Phosphomycin, an alternative therapy for treatment of UTI uh, amidst escalating antimicrobial resistance. Phosphomycin shows a good activity uh, against both 
ESBL producing and ESBL negative E. coli isolates. Uh, the main finding of our study is that the phosphomycin exhibits excellent my antimicrobial activity even against the isolates with a relatively high level of antimicrobial resistance and hence can be useful drug in our armamentarium. This is uh, 2015, it has been uh, published. Uh, bacterial sensitivity uh, to phosphomycin in pregnant women with urinary tract infection. Uh, in good 90% of cases, the organisms were found to be sensitive during pregnancy and is said to be safe uh, to use during pregnancy. As for the treatment for MDR, multiple drug resistant urinary tract infection is concerned, oral phosphomycin uh, has been uh, proved to be efficacious and uh, uh, to be tried by uh, all of you. So the take home messages are, it has got rap rapid distribution into bladder, peak urinary concentration reached 4000 microgram uh, per mil uh, and remain more than 1000 uh, microgram per mil even after 48 hours. It has got broad spectrum of activity, it has demonstrated excellent in vitro activity against common uropathogens including MDR isolates and it is favorable safety profile, no cross resistance with other antimicrobials and it is safe to be used in pregnancy. Uh, before I end, uh, this is the last slide, uh, I re remind you again uh, uh, about the Erofos, uh, it is uh, for acute lower UTI, one sachet as a single dose is good enough. For resistant lower UTI and complicated lower urinary tract infection, one sachet has to be taken on day 1, day 3 and day 5. While in recurrent lower tract urinary tract infection, one sachet should be taken every 10 days for 3 to 6 months and you will find the effect will be same. So, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.